Well, the day has finally come. Today is the day Little Big Planet officially died. As of April 19th, 2024, Little Big Planet 3 for PS4 was added to the official decommissioned server list on PlayStation's website with the following statement. Due to ongoing technical issues, which resulted in the Little Big Planet 3 servers for PlayStation 4 being taken offline temporarily in January 2024, the decision has been made to keep the servers offline indefinitely. All online services, including access to other players' creations for Little Big Planet 3, are no longer available. And yes, indefinitely means permanent in this case. I don't suggest trying to find any other meaning behind that phrasing. The LBP servers are gone for good, and there's nothing we can really do about it. It's extremely sad, and I wish this wasn't the way it had to be, but this was bound to happen, and I don't want people to harass any of the devs at Sumo or Media Molecule. This is not something they really had control over. Sumo Digital hasn't worked on the franchise since 2017, and Media Molecule hasn't worked on it since LBP 2. Of course, this ties back into the whole moderation purge attack that happened a few months ago, where PlayStation accounts were being falsely banned by people exploiting LVP3. The servers were only supposed to shut down for a little bit to investigate the issue, but it looks like plans have changed, and Sony ultimately decided to permanently shut down the servers. In 2021, we lost access to the servers for all PS3 LBP games, as well as LBP Vita, with LBP 3 and PS4 being the last remaining way to play Little Big Planet online. Now that LBP 3 is gone on PS4, there is no official way to play community levels or play online with your friends. This is truly the end of an era, and it's a bit disappointing that Sony let such an amazing series die thanks to letting a couple of bad actors in the community walk all over them. Not once, but twice. This will be the legacy that LBP will be known for, and they're completely okay with it. Don't get me wrong, I'm not upset because the server shut down. I knew this was going to happen sooner rather than later. Honestly, I pretty much expected these servers not to come back. I'm mainly upset that a multi-billion dollar corporation didn't bother fighting back against the actual individuals responsible. You also gave the community hope when there wasn't any to begin with. These issues, these vulnerabilities within LBP servers were way too costly and time consuming to fix, especially since Sumo, again, hasn't worked on the series since 2017. I don't know the full details behind the skeleton crew they, they tasked with fixing these issues, but obviously it was too much for them to handle and I don't blame them at all. The game is so old at this point that there are so many exploits and vulnerabilities that we probably don't even know about. And if something like this were to happen again, then LBP would have had no hope at all. Every time I think about Sony's treatment of the LBP servers, I am constantly reminded of how Valve treats TF2 and its community. If you don't know about what's happening with Team Fortress 2 and the whole bot situation over the past few years, it's a whole thing. I don't want to get into it. Just know that both Valve and Sony have issues with being transparent, overall communication, and have a tendency of giving false promises to their players. But okay, enough side ranting. I do want to lighten the mood a little bit. For those who are unaware, Little Big Planet games are still playable online thanks to custom servers. There are a few of them out there, such as Little Big Refresh and Beacon, and I'll leave links to their Discord servers in the description below. Um, but yeah, you can still play online with friends and play community levels on jailbroken PS3s and on PC through RPCS3, which is a PS3 emulator. At the moment, I don't have much interest in playing on custom servers myself when it comes to making LBB content on the channel. Maybe that will change in the future, I don't know. But for the time being, no more Little Big Planet 3 pod surfing. But again, my mind can change on that at any point. I do still have a lot of Little Big Planet related content I want to make that doesn't require official servers, so look out for those in the coming months to years to whenever I stop making videos. I'm still primarily a Little Big Planet channel, even with the server shutdown. Little Big Planet community is still very much alive and active. There's tons of LBP Discord servers out there, but a few that I personally recommend joining include Little Big Workshop, Little Big Beyond, and Imagisphere. Speaking of Imagisphere, 
They just recently launched the Imagisphere Wiki, which is a brand new Little Big Planet fan wiki with tons of resources and documentation on every level in the series, and also details about the create mode, including the smallest details. It's still in development, but they're extremely passionate about the game, and they're trying to make the wiki as polished as they possibly can. Again, links to everything in the description below. That's really it though, I've pretty much said everything I wanted to say. I know this video was a bit of a downer, I mean it was really a downer, but hey, what can you do in this situation? It was fun while it lasted, but you will be missed. Rest in peace, little big planet. Rest in peace. I am so sorry, Gwimbly. It's just wrong, man.